Hey, welcome to Fun Online Mass. If you're joining us for the first time, please do have to subscribe and follow this channel. The question on the board says, find the coefficient of x to the power of 8 in this expansion. Now I'll be using um, a binomial expansion. Now by binomial expansion, by binomial expansion, if we have x plus y to the power of n, is the same thing as saying n combination 0, x raised to the power n, y raised to the power 0. Okay, that is x raised to the power of n plus n combination 1, x raised to the power of n minus 1, y to the power of 1, plus n combination 2, x raised to the power n minus 2, y raised to the power 2. And then we keep adding till we'll have n combination n minus 1, x raised to the power 1, y raised to the power of n minus 1. And then plus n combination n, there is no x, it will be y raised to the power of n. Okay, so by binomial expansion, this is what we get. Okay, so please note, for D, this is called N combination 0. Now, N combination K, let's generalize it, is giving us N factorial over N minus K factorial, K factorial. So we'll be using this knowledge to solve, to expand this first, then before we multiply with this. So um, I'm going to move to that side. Here we have... 2x minus 1 over x to the power of 10. So this is equal to, now take note, uh, it will be 10 combination 0. That's what we start with, 10 combination 0. So you have 10 combination 0. x to the power of n means, look at, this was what we are using x. But in this case, we have 2x here. So it will be 2x raised to the power of 10, okay, then y raised to the power of 0, okay, when we start at the highest power for x, oh, sorry, not y, um, in this case, y is now minus 1 over x, I'm sorry, so this is minus 1 over x, that's the first one, raised to the power of 0, plus 10 combination 1, 0, 1, 2x raised to the power of 9, you reduce that, then you increase this, minus 1 over x raised to the power of 1, right? So let's continue. Plus 10 combination 2, 2x to the power of 8, minus 1 over x to the power of 2, plus 10 combination 3, 2x to the power of 7, minus 1 over x to the power of 3, plus 10 combination 4, please you bear with me, this will be long, 2x raised to the power of 8, oh sorry, 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 2x raised to the power of 6, minus 1 over x raised to the power of 4, plus 10 combination 5, 2x raised to the power of 5, minus 1 over x raised to the power of 5, plus 10 combination 6, 2x raised to the power of 4 now, Minus 1 over x raised to the power of 6 plus 10 combination 7. Am I correct? Yes. 2x raised to the power of 3 minus 1 over x raised to the power of 7 plus 10 combination 8. 2x raised to the power of 2 minus 1 over x raised to the power of 8. And then plus 10 combination 9. 2x raised to the power of 1 minus 1 over x raised to the power of 9, plus, yeah, 10 combination 10, 2 x raised to the power of 0, minus 1 over x raised to the power of 10. Okay, so we are at this point. Please bear with me. This will be a very long video. Now, for each of them, we're going to be taking the combination and then multiply with what we have. So let's start. We have, this is equal to, 10 combination 0 is 10 factorial over 10 minus 0 factorial, 0 factorial. Remember, we are following this process, okay? 10 factorial over that. Then 
2x to the power of 10. 2 to the power of 10 is 1024, if I'm correct. So that's 1024. And then we have x raised to the power of 10. Anything raised to the power of 0 is 1, so I'm not going to work with that. Plus 10 combination 1 is 10 factorial over 10 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial. Then 2x raised to the power of 9. Let's say we divide this by 2. That will be 512, I believe. 5, 1, 2. X raised to the power 9. While for the other one, we still have times minus 1 over x. Or let's just write it this way. Times minus 1 over x. Since it's raised to the power of 1, it's the same thing. Plus, this is 10 combination 2 now. 10 factorial over 10 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial times, I'm going to be putting times here, times uh, 2 to the power of 8, that will be 256, 256, x raised to the power of 8, then times, now anything to the power of a positive, uh, to the power of an even number is going to remove the negative within it. So this is 1 over x raised to the power of 2 which is 1 square over s square, which is 1 over s square. So this is times 1 over s square plus 10 combination 3 is 10 factorial over 10 minus 3 factorial, 3 factorial times 2 to the power of 7 is, um, if I'm correct, I think that would be 128. 1, 2, 8, x raised to the power 7, then that is times minus 1 over x raised to the power 3 when you expand that plus i believe you can still see it 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 factorial 4 factorial times 2 to the power of 6 um that's 64 yes that's 64 so times 64 x raised to the power 6 times 1 over x raised to the power 4. Remember what I told you, it's an even number, so the negative goes away. Then we have this, plus 10 factorial over 10 minus 5 factorial. And here now, please follow. 5 factorial, 2 raised to the power 5 is 32, so that is 32, x raised to the power 5, times minus 1 over x raised to the power of 5. So let's come to this side. So we are not done. We are at this point. Let's continue from here. That is 10 factorial over 10 minus 6 factorial, 6 factorial, times 2x raised to the power 4. Um, that is 16x raised to the power 4 times minus 1. Not minus, it's that positive now. 1 over x raised to the power 6 plus 10 factorial, 10 minus 7 factorial, 7 factorial. Um, times 8, x raised to the power 3, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, okay? So times minus 1 over x raised to the power 7, but right here now, plus 10 factorial, 10 minus 8 factorial, 8 factorial, times 4x squared, times 1 over x raised to the power 8, plus 10 factorial over 10 minus 9 factorial, 9 factorial times 2x times minus 1 over x raised to the power 9. And lastly, 10 factorial, 10 minus 10 factorial. Um, that's still 10 factorial, right? Times 2x raised to the power 0 is 1, so that's not necessary. Then times 1 over x raised to the power of 10. So, we are now focused on this side. Now, this is 10 factorial over 10 minus 0 is still 10. 0 factorial is still there. Uh -huh, times 1024 x raised to the power 10 plus 10 factorial over 9 factorial, 1 factorial. I'm here now. Then let's multiply this. Please take note. Um, whenever you're using this to multiply this, since the both of them have x, we're going to be reducing 9 by 1. 
because the power here is 1. So reduce this by 1, this will now be x raised to the power 8, this will no longer be there. So we still have our minus, so that's times minus 5, 1, 2, x raised to the power 8, plus, now we are here, let's bring it here, 10 factorial over 8 factorial, 2 factorial, then we have the power 2 here, 8, subtract 2 from 8, this is 6, so we have times 2, 5, 6, x raised to the power 6, plus 10 factorial over 7 factorial, 3 factorial, times, subtract 3 from 7, we have 4, that's times 1, 2, 8, x raised to the power 4, but don't forget it has a negative sign, so we put times minus 1, 2, 8, x raised to the power 4, let's move to that side, so we have plus, I think we are here now, uh, x raised to the power 4, we have done that. We are here now. 10 factorial over 10 minus 4 is 6. So this is 6 factorial and it's 4 factorial times the power here is 4. Subtract 4 from 6. You have 2. So this is 64 x raised to power 2 plus 10 factorial by 5 factorial 5 factorial. 10 factorial about 5 factorial, 5 factorial times 32. Now we have the same power. 5 minus 5 is 0. So it will be x raised to the power 0. And anything to the power of 0 is 1. So I'm, I won't have to write x anymore. So I'll just have 32 times minus 1, which is minus 32. So this is minus 32 at this point. Plus, we come over here. We come over here. That's 10 factorial. 10 minus 6 is 4. Over 4 factorial, 6 factorial times. Now, the power here is now smaller than this. We'll still subtract it. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. So this will be 16 x raised to the power minus 2 plus 10 factorial over 3 factorial, 7 factorial times. That is minus here, so I'm just going to write that. Minus 8. 3 minus 7 is minus 4. So x raised to the power minus 